In a bid to improve access to finance for small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs, and St. Lucia's ease of doing business ranking, the government of St. Lucia is moving to introduce legislation under the Security Interest in Movable Property Bill. Access to finance has been a long-standing issue for the private sector, particularly SMEs. Last week, representatives from the banking, finance and legal sectors, alongside government officials, participated in a two-day workshop on secured transactions and collateral registry. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Finance, Cointia Thomas, highlighted that the lack of access to finance inhibits a firm's competitiveness and productivity, its ability to expand its operations and provide much-needed employment. This is important as 70% of firms' wealth is said to be concentrated in the movable assets. To support this initiative, a legal framework and a registry system will be put in place for providing credit using movable assets. The International Finance Corporation works with governments across the globe to develop frameworks that allow borrowers to obtain loans by using their collateral resources to help create new alternatives for SMEs to obtain financing. Elaine McEachern is the Senior Financial Sector Specialist with the IFC. Approximately 57% of the firms in St. Lucia um, have access to finance challenges. Only 24.5% of those firms um, have a bank loan or a line of credit, and 98% of those loans to small and medium-sized firms re require collateral over 1.9 times the loan amount. St. Lucia is currently ranked 161 out of 189 economies on the World Bank Ease of Doing Business Getting Credit Indicator. However, this ranking is expected to improve with the passage of this new legislation. Once the Security Interest in Movable Property Bill is tabled and approved by Parliament, the design and the development of the collateral registry will be the next step in creating the enabling infrastructure to increase access to credit for SMEs. Partner at Grand Thornton, Richard Pitterking, said though this piece of legislation is very technical and many persons may not initially grasp the concept, it can increase access to credit for SMEs. I think many instances uh, there are bits and pieces of legislation that we still need as well. One of them is the Insolvency Act, which again we, we have a bill, um, but it's not being passed in, in, and without that, um, the, the lenders are not really going to get into lending to, to movable assets. So we need a number of things that have to change um, over the next year or so in order to open up uh, our markets to a lot of new types of products um, that will allow transactions to flow and finance to be available to those who traditionally have a problem getting it. Business Development Officer at Axel Finance, Mervyn Aegis, said this bill aligns with his company's model of credit financing. It is, of course, heartening to see that everything is coming into place um, through legislation and, of course, institutionalization. Uh, so Axel Finance will definitely uh, continue in the path that it has been uh, to ensure that uh, our small businesses continue to grow uh, through the use of movable assets to secure their financial stability. Irvin Springer, Business Development Manager at First National Bank, indicated that the passage of this bill will go hand in hand with a new initiative his bank is pursuing. We're actually going to be launching a SME Competency Center in the coming weeks, um, which will be providing products and financial services to the SME sector. So the secure transaction bill not being passed will actually enhance this effort the IFC is hopeful that other member countries in the currency union will be motivated by St. Lucia's advances and consider making this solution a regional one. The, the two-day workshop was held at the Finance Administrative Center, November 5th to 6th, 2019. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.